I'm going to talk about submix tracks in this lesson. To follow along, go to Working Files, Projects, and go down to 2004, Output to Submix Track. I'm going to explain the submix track concept in just a moment, but the first thing I want you to do is to build a new sequence more or less from scratch. So we're going to go File, New Sequence. I've got this open to the AVCHD 1080p 30 preset. You can select that as well, but we're going to rearrange things pretty seriously now. So let's go to Tracks, and I want to change these tracks. We're going to take four monaural tracks and mix them with a stereo track inside the mixer. So I'm going to change these tracks to monaural by going down here and going to mono. One, two, three, and four. The fifth one will be standard, which is both stereo and mono but we're gonna use it for a stereo track. And the sixth one will be a submix. So we'll get on here to stereo submix, like so. We're gonna take four different clips of Laura Lee Christensen singing harmony. So I wanna pan them a little bit. I wanna take the first one and pan it left about 30 or so. Next one over, maybe about 15 or so, right around there. And the next one over, we'll pan that to the right about 15 and the right farther about 30 or so, right around like that. And then her fifth voice, which is on the stereo mix, will be in the center. So I got everybody panned all in advance here. I'm going to call this one Submix Example as a sequence name, and click OK. Up there, I could have reduced the number of video tracks. I'll do that now. I'm going to right-click here and say Delete Tracks. I'm going to delete all the video tracks. There we go. There's always going to be one left over, though. You can't delete that top one. So now we have six tracks here. Got four monaural tracks. You can tell they're monaural by those little speakers. We have a fifth one here that's a standard track. And we've got a submix track down here. And if you can't read the names, I'm going to pull this over like this, and then you can see them better. There you go. Let's go to the mixer. We have four monaural tracks here. And you can tell they're monaural because there's no split at the top there. The fifth one is a standard. And there is a split there, meaning it could be stereo or monaural. The sixth one here is a stereo. And then the seventh one over here is the master track. What are these tracks? I need to pull them down to see them. And to pull them down to see them without sort of crunching the sequence here, I'm going to pull this thing out. Grab this by the handle. Hold on the controller command, pull it out, move this over a little bit like that, and pull this down a little bit, and there we go. We've got a submix over here. That's that guy. What we're going to do is we're going to take these clips and put them over here on the timeline on the sequence. And then we're going to take these four tracks, the monaural tracks of the harmony, and output them to the submix. So let's do that. Let's take these five clips here. We've got vocal one, two, three, four, and then I've got the mix up here. So vocal one goes in that top track. Vocal 2 goes right below it. Vocal 3. Vocal 4. Let's just listen to them right now. Just too hard to find. There you go. That's Laurelie overdubbing, singing the same song over and over again, recording it multiple times with a slightly different harmony. And we'll add the mix here in the bottom. That'll be in stereo right there. So here's how they're all going to sound together. There you go. I think you see how that's going to work. So we've got these four tracks, and they're already panned. See that little pan, a little bit left, a little left, a little right, a little right, because we did that inside the sequence setup dialog box. So what I want to do now is I want to take these four tracks and then output them to a submix. The reason I'm doing that is that I want to apply one effect to all four tracks. I want to apply reverb to all four. So I need to output them. Now, there are two ways that you can work with a submix. You can output or you can send. I'm going to open up this little disclosure triangle here. This is the send area, and send works differently than an output. An output takes the entire signal and then outputs it to another submix track. A send kind of splits off the signal. It's a little bit confusing, and it's like one step up from what we're doing here by doing an output. So we're going to stick with output. But if you want to find out more about sends, feel free to read about that in the help file. And if you want to take that even further, feel free to try out Adobe Audition, because their sends are very much part of the whole system there. You really want to use sends in terms of how you do your audio mixes. So I'm going to close this for the time being, and we'll just take care of the outputs. And the outputs are done using these drop-down lists. Before, when we took a look at this drop-down list, there was only one option. That was master. But now there's going to be submix one, because we added that submix track. So I'm going to click on submix there instead for all four of those guys. One, two, three, and four. And now you're going to see that the submix here is going to start moving along with the rest of these guys. Too hard, just too hard. And the submix is a stereo track because we panned all these guys, so that panning is showing up here in the submix. Fine. Just too hard, 
So now what I want to do is I want to apply an effect to the submix. So we can apply one reverb to four tracks at once. To do that, we go back up here to this disclosure triangle, open that up. We can apply an effect up here. Now, which one was the submix again? Kind of scroll down to see that right there, second to last right there. This one here. So I click this little disclosure triangle here to open up this drop down list and go down to reverb. We can listen to that now. Just too hard to find. So you can hear how we applied reverb to just those four voices. If you want to update that a little bit, we can go over here and right click and say edit. And that shows this graphical interface here. Let's just try it out by moving some things around. Here we go. Just too hard to find. Just too hard to find. Too hard to Just find. too hard to find. Something like that. Now we might be overdoing the reverb just a little bit here, but I do want to show you that this is a process you can use. You can put some number of tracks into one submix track and then apply some number of effects to that track that affect all of those tracks that were put into the submix track. We can also control volume and panning. Now we don't need to worry about panning here because that was set up in advance, but let's talk about volume here. That might be just a little bit loud there. So I'm going to close down this little dialog box there and go over to volume. We'll go back there and play that again. Let me just slide this over a bit, try that again. Get out of the way for a moment here, get you back to the beginning. Get you back in there and then let's try to listen to that and see if we can control the volume a little bit here. Somewhere around there, you can control the volume to suit your purposes. You can also apply effects to other tracks. You probably want to apply a little bit of reverb to the whole mix as well. You don't want to just have the backup vocalist having reverb and the group not having it. So you can go over here and add reverb here. Go down the reverb. And you might want to set the reverb here a little bit differently. You can go over to the edit again and decide that maybe this time it's not going to be quite the same reverb as this one. Maybe not quite as emphatic. However you want to do it. But you can set up reverb for the second track as well. Let's just take a look at that. I'm going to close this down and slide you over just to get you back toward the beginning here. You know what? I'm tired. There you go. So that's how a submix works. I do want to show you one more little thing here. I want to make sure that you know that you can add a submix track by right clicking on a header here and add tracks. And then down here, select a submix track in addition to creating the sequence from the beginning with a submix track. So that's how you work with submix tracks here inside the audio mixer.